Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can get started with our project. First things first, we need to install Meteor and then go on from there. So let's get started right now. So to get started, head to Meteor.com, click this Install Meteor button on the home page, and now you can see for Windows, you can download the official installer, or we can use this curl command on OS X or Linux. So I'm going to head to my command line, and I'm simply just going to paste in this curl command and hit enter. You can see this is going to install Meteor on your system. If you already have Meteor installed, you can totally skip this step. You don't need it. However, if you're new to Meteor and you haven't used it yet, make sure that you have Meteor installed in your system. I'm going to let this go and install and come back when it's done. Okay, and if it prompts you for your password, just make sure you give it your password. But as you can see, we now have Meteor installed. And as you can see, it says to create a new application, we can just run Meteor Create My Cool App. Okay, I'm actually just going to hit Command K to clear my command line. And let's get started by creating our Meteor project. So to get started, let's go ahead and first create a new Meteor project. We can do that by heading to our command line. So we can create our new project just by saying Meteor Create and then we want this to be my resolutions. So this is going to be your new resolutions application. And right now it's going to download all of these standard packages, but really quickly, we're going to actually need to upgrade Meteor to a version that's not released yet at the recording of this video. Now we want to make sure we're going to be on Meteor 1.3. So let's go ahead and run Meteor update. And you can see this project's at Meteor 1.2.1. So basically, it says I'm already at the latest release. Now, we need to be on 1.3. So if yours, like mine, says anything other than 1.3 here, we need to upgrade to the latest beta. Now, the latest beta at the time of recording this video is going to be beta 12. So we can get that simply by typing in Meteor update hyphen hyphen release. Now the release is going to be 1.3 hyphen beta dot 12. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter here. Now you'll notice this should be grabbing everything we need. Now I've been running beta 12 for a little while now and have had no issues. So uh, you won't necessarily run into anything. However, with running betas, it's always a possibility. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, Meteor is already up to 1.3 and the actual release and you don't have to use the beta for 1.3. However, if you do need to run this Meteor release command, like I said, I haven't had any issues myself. It seems very stable. Now you might be wondering why Meteor 1.3 rather than 1.2 uh, or anything other than that. Well, with 1.3, there's actually a tremendous update that now allows the use of NPM packages. So this means from now on, when you're writing your Meteor sites, we don't have to use wrapper packages anymore. You might recall something like adding the package for Lodash and having to use the Atmosphere package for Lodash which may or may not have been at the latest version when you went to download it. Now, this has kind of been a bummer throughout the development of Meteor Sites. However, that's all been solved now with 1.3 because we can import and export modules just like you would expect. Now, this has a big change in React because before we would have just added the React package and that would have included some mix-ins like Get Meteor Data that allowed it working with React to be nice and easy. However, things change quite a bit when we go to 1.3, and now we need to start using the NPM React, just like we would if we were developing a site that was not on Meteor. So this update may take a minute, so just let it hang out for a little bit. Uh, I might ta be talking a little bit more about 1.3 as we go here. So if you see any other video tutorials using React mixins or React Git Meteor data, then come 1.3, it's sort of going to be an outdated technique. So I'm going to be doing my best to make this series as up to date as possible so that you can use these techniques moving forward. And we're going to be doing this all with ES2015 or ES6 as it's uh, been known so that you have just a handle on all of the modern ways to do things. So as you can see, this is still updating. I'm just going to give it a second and come back to this when it's done. 
Okay, so we're now up to date with Meteor 1.3. Now at this point, we can simply run Meteor. The Meteor command is going to start up our Meteor application and we should be able to now access it at localhost port 3000. So once this gets going, let's head to our browser and in my new tab, I'm going to say localhost 3000. Now let's tab back. Now I can check on, make sure this app is up. Okay, it looks like it's running. And you can now see we have this welcome to Meteor where we've pressed the button you know, however many times. If you've used Meteor at all before, you have seen this. So although this video is gonna be focusing on React right now, looks like we're all up and running. All right, so where do we get started here? How do we actually take this down? Well, to start, I'm actually going to just start deleting some stuff. So let's actually go ahead and come to our application. I'm just gonna open mine up in Finder and drop it into Sublime Text. You are more than welcome to use whatever text editor you would like. And if you're wondering, I'm using the Oceanic variant of uh, Material Dark for color scheme and theme here. And I've even made the accent color purple. I always get questions about that, so it's nice to start a series and just make that up front. So you notice we have all of our Blaze code like normal because this is going to assume that you're using Blaze. And that's no problem because it's easy to get rid of all of this stuff. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and just delete my resolutions.js. Gone, see you later. Okay, let's go ahead and delete my resolutions.css. I will be providing styles in this that you can download. And let's go ahead and delete everything in here except for uh, the body tag. We'll leave the body tag for now. However, I will warn you, the body tag will go eventually. Okay, so we now have our project all ready to go to get started to actually writing some React code. We have a total blank slate here. And as you can see, we haven't had to add any packages yet. We haven't had to do anything sort of fancy yet. We're just sort of getting rid of everything. In the next video, we're gonna be adding React to our site with NPM. We're gonna be doing our very first importing of a package through NPM rather than Meteor's own package system. And we're going to create our very first React component within Meteor. So, so as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. So if you'd like to see the rest of these videos before they're released on my channel, you can head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase this entire series along with code examples available to download the entire series all at once to have early access. Or you can subscribe to be a Level Up Pro and stream all of these videos before they're released on YouTube. So as always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.